We're back to bring you another great game from the National Football League. The Buffalo Bills will go on defense first to start the game. He'll take it from the two. He's tackled at the 31. The Dolphins will start this drive at the 31. The running back has it. The tackle was made by Aaron Maybe. Brown gets six yards on the play. Pennington with the gift. Gains his way to the 46-yard line before he's dropped. Here's the pass. There for the reception. And running backs who are good receivers are pretty rare. You know, a lot of times those guys, they come out and they're good running the football, but they don't make the kind of plays in the passing game. This guy can clearly do both. Just missed that time, bringing him down for a sack, but great pressure to force an incompletion. They'll give it off here. He lost yardage on the play. Well, his defenders get paid, too, and every once in a while, they win the battle. Clearly, that time, they were all over this offensive line. Passes. Pass is complete. The week the Mitchell is there to bring him down. Nice stop by the defense on that third down pass, and that's exactly what you want to do. Keep the play in front of you, come up, make the tackle, no first down. The greatest show and it's baby. good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. This one's going to be downed in the end zone for a touchback. All right, they just came up with a field goal. Let's see what this offense can do. Come out, be aggressive. Let's get some points on the board. Gives it off. Still moving. Langford makes the tackle. Well, that time the outside linebacker came on the run blitz. They got some penetration and shut down the play. Gets the pass away. Knocked loose. Lee Evans thought he had a sure catch. And you know you're going to get hit as a wide receiver. You've got to hang on to those balls, but that was a big shot. Throws it short. Davis picks it off. To the 10. Touchdown, Miami. Not a good way for that drive to end. That one really needed to go the distance and put seven points up so they could draw a little closer here in the first half. But give the defense credit for not slipping. Up and good. Here's your sprint drive summary. Evans fields it at the one. They get him at the 31. We'll see what the offense does to combat their last mistake, which ended with the defense celebrating a touchdown. Lynch gets the ball. Aiken Adele was there to bring him down. Nine-yard pickup, and that will bring up second down. They hand it off again. Langford was there on the tackle. Well, let's face it, defensive players get paid for sacks. They were really coming after the quarterback that time, and the delay caught him napping. Lynch on the give. 
Taylor tackles him for a loss at the 47-yard line. And they'll run him again. The tackle was made by Taylor. Lynch gets three yards on the play. Throws it. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Lee Evans was his intended target. Again, awaiting the return. Into the end zone for a touchback. The offense will start at the 20. First down now and 10 to go. They hand it off. Aaron Schobelt was there to bring him down. Brown comes away with five yards on the carry. Brown again. He fights forward to about the 26 before he's gang tackled. Brown gains about a yard on the play. Dumps it out left. And that incomplete pass will probably lead to the punting unit coming out onto the field as they go three and out. Not a very creative sequence of play calling that time. They just never seem to get anything going on that drive. He's still going. There's still plenty of football to be played, but so far this offense seems lethargic. They really need a spark here. Gets the pass off. Falls incomplete. Good release that time by the receiver at the line of scrimmage, but the pass simply was just not there. Gets the pass away. Smith drags him to the ground at the 37. Everything seemed to work perfectly on that one. And that's a pattern that this team likes to run. You know they've been studying that all week on film, and yet they still can't stop it. He rolls right. The stop was made by Jason Taylor. Maybe a yard on that completion. So that'll make it second down. Tosses left. From the 37-yard line. The pass is away. He's there for the catch. Run the ball, sell the run, play action pass, and it really just opens up your passing game. The key to throwing the football in this league is running it well, and this play action is starting to work. Tackle was made by Jason Ferguson. Lynch gets about a yard on the play. And now we'll see who can get the bigger push. They give it to the fullback. The stop was made by Merlin. This is the eighth play of this drive. Dumps it out right. Trent Edwards is just having an incredible year, and it continues as he connects on that pass for his 30th touchdown pass this season. Ryan Lindell is good on the point after. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Dropped at the 29-yard line. 
The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. Pennington hands off. Marcus Stroud was there on the tackle. From their own 29-yard line. They hand it off. Brown gets about four yards on the play. Passes it. He goes up high for the catch. And there you see just a little bit of how tremendous these athletes are in the NFL. The ability to go up above the defense and make a play like that, that was fun to watch. Gets the pass out. Terrence McGee was there to bring him down. Kirk makes his 30th catch of the season. Setting up blockers, he has it on the screen. That'll be a two-yard loss. I don't think they fooled anybody on the defense with that one. They were just sitting out there waiting for it, and that's a loss. Go! We'll hear from the referee for the first time in the game. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. Offense. Repeat, second down. That'll bring up second and long after the penalty. Here's the throw. He hasn't missed a pass on this drive. Nice grab on the play, his second catch of the drive. Yeah, and I'm gonna expect to see a lot more passes to this guy. He's a good receiver. He's talented, he can make the catch and get upfield. But more importantly right now, this defense is creating some opportunities for him to catch the ball. And the pass will fall incomplete. Fourth down coming up. And those are the kind of big third down plays you have to have on defense to get the ball back and give your team a chance on offense. And it's good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. He'll down it in the end zone. The Bills ended their last drive with a touchdown, so they'll look to make it two in a row. Throws it. Smith was there on the tackle. Well, when you have a talented running back like this, you always have to account for him. That time, a nice play-action pass. Open it up down the field. Here's the give. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And you love to see those linebackers playing downhill like that. Not just flowing sideline to sideline, but attacking and trying to get in the backfield. They give it to the tailback. The tackle was made by Gabriel Wilson. Lynch gets seven yards on the play. Rolling right, passes the ball, drops the sure pick. The defender gets a hand on it, and that will bring up fourth down. I don't know if that's the guy I want to pick on on third down when you have to have a conversion. He is tough. to the 31-yard line. The Dolphins offense has to be a little disappointed with how that last drive ended to move the ball that effectively and only come away with three points. On the ground with a tailback. The stop was made by Aaron Schobel. It's the tailback. Harris was there to bring him down. 
Brown picks up about four yards on the play. Gets the ball away. The tackle was made by Whitner. There really is so much to keep the football. You talk all the time about you have to establish the run. Well, there you see why. You establish the run, and then you come with the play-action pass. Just so hard to defend. Passes to his left. Right through his hands. He almost made the pick. That incompletion will bring up second down. Hands it off. Plus, Lesnick was there on the tackle. Brown gains about a yard on the play. Just gets it off. Yeah, they brought the blitz and the offensive line just unable to pick it up that time to force the incompletion. Witherspoon is back awaiting the puck. Tries to return it and he loses the ball. There's a battle for it. Harris scoops it. The Bills get it. They'll maintain possession. Heads up play to get that ball back for the offense. That one really could have gone either way. And the defense has a heavy rush. Sacked! Langford records his fifth sack of the year. They're looking at a second and long here after the sack. Passes it out. And it's tipped away. Davis had the coverage on the play. From their own nine-yard line. Throws it short. Makes the catch. He's still going. Well, obviously that play was designed to pick up a lot more yardage than that, so give the defense credit for at least stopping them from getting a first down. He brings it out to the 39. Let's see if the offense can put something together on this drive. Pennington hands it off straight ahead. The tackle was made by Aaron Schobel. Well, they brought the blitz that time. The offensive line did a pretty good job recognizing it. They got the blocks, but the back was still able to get out of there for a nice game. Throws it out. Is there for the catch. Again, can't hang on to the ball. Referee's going to have to dig to the bottom of this pile to see who came away with it. McKelvin grabs it on the ground. The Bills win the battle. They get the takeaway. Hey, that's a little sacrificing of your body there. Certainly not the biggest guy in the field, but you could tell he wanted that ball. Coach Tony Sperano throws his challenge flag, so this one will get another viewing. After reviewing the play, the ruling on the field is overturned. So the call on the field will be reversed. The Dolphins will set up shop at the 32-yard line. The defense has him surrounded. Pass rush almost got there that time, and uh, he has to feel a little lucky that that ball just fell harmlessly to the turf. Brought the blitz that time. Didn't get there, but did throw up the timing of the play to get the incompletion. Guests are urged to enter the facility carrying the fewest items possible. Feeds it to the back. Brown picks up 
about four yards on the play. They'll call on the field goal unit here for this long try. And it's good. Here's your sprint drive summary. That was a great kick from that distance. It really was, wasn't it? There are no field goal kicker jokes going on on the sideline right now. Just a lot of love. This offense really needs to get something going in this series. A game like this can quickly get out of hand, and before you know it, you have to get away from that game plan and start taking more chances. Lynch gets the call. He makes his way to about the 32. Channing Crowder is there on the tackle. Another run. The tackle was made by Porter. Lynch gains about four yards on the play. Dumps it out left. The stop was made by Smith. And that's good quarterback play. He recognized the blitz. He understood what was happening with the coverage behind it and found the open man. Give to the tailback. He makes his way to about the 45 before he's dropped by a host of tacklers. Counter play. Yeah, not often do you see those inside linebackers fool like that. They took that misstep, came back around with the counter, just simply out of position. Those big offensive linemen able to get on them, pick up a big game. Here's the give. Breaks a tackle. Porter is there to bring him down. They get nine yards on the play. That'll bring up second down. And we've come to the end of one with the score. The Dolphins, 16. The Bills, 7. Short yardage situation here. Second and a yard. He gets another carry. Joey Porter makes the tackle. He picks up three yards and a first down. Those aren't runs that look really pretty in the statistics the next day. But when you keep moving those chains, it makes a difference. Channing Crowder was there on the tackle. As a quarterback, you really want to make that pre-snap read, and it's kind of hard to not see the middle linebacker. He came on the blitz that time, and sometimes you just need to get out of a play like that. Two-yard pickup. And Tom, that was because the defense filled up all the gaps. The back was looking for somewhere to run, but by bringing the run blitz, they took away all the holes and stopped them for a minimal game. Joey Porter makes the tackle. Smith makes his third catch of the game. Ryan Lindell can bring his team within a touchdown. It's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Again, has it at the five. At the 30. He's tackled at the 45. The Dolphins were able to get three points on their last possession. Short pass to his left. Drops it and he was pretty well covered. Anthony Fasano was the intended receiver. Our winner is seated in section 44, row 9, seat 13. You have just won a new gaming console of your choice. Dumps it out right. They can't hook up on the pass. Now the offense will be facing third down. He throws short, comes down with it. Bird was there to bring him down. The Bills were flying to the ball on that series. There's no way they were gonna let him get a first down.
The ball will go into the end zone for a touchback. The Bills don't want to settle for three again. They're looking to add a touchdown this time. And they really forced him to throw that one before he had a chance to read the coverage. You know, typically when they blitz, you end up in one-on-one -on -one coverage, but you have to have time to throw the ball. Huge pressure by the defense. As a quarterback, hey, you understand you on, where your protection is and what you can protect. If you can't protect a certain side, you have to throw it hot. That time the quarterback missed the hot read and paid the price. And he caught it. The Dolphins came onto the field with a ton of energy that time. They controlled the line of scrimmage and didn't allow that extra yardage. gets out to about the 42-yard line. The offense takes the field, and we'll see if they can put something together after their last drive ended with a three and out. He throws right. And it's not blue. Cause Lesnade was defending on the plunge. From their own 42-yard line. Here's the pass. Kawika Mitchell was there on the tackle. You can tell these guys practiced that play quite a bit. Yeah, I can remember hearing stories about uh, old-time players in the NFL that literally they could go out in the pitch black and make throws and catches without really even seeing the ball. That's the kind of timing we're seeing today. It's second and five here. Again with the carry. Still working. Stiff arms, and the defender still makes the tackle. Ronnie Brown gained around six yards. That'll be enough to get the first. There for the catch. This is going to be close. Did he come up with it? They're going to say he came down with it. Boy, I wasn't too sure about that one, but the officials got together and came to the conclusion that, yes, that was a good catch. And the snap goes right to the back. Hit and drop behind the line. You know, listen, I would never want to block a defensive lineman. So, I, you know, I've seen these guys. I know these guys. They're big and they're nasty. But at least from an offensive standpoint, you have to try to get in the way. McCalvin bats it down. And the pass was knocked away at the last minute. Just terrific play by the defense. They followed the quarterback's eyes, made a quick jump on the ball, and were all over that one. He missed it. No, be physical. The Bills will begin this drive at the 42. Passive. Brings it in. He gunned that one in there for the first down, didn't he? He really did. And when you watch a guy throw a ball that hard, they don't move their arm any faster. You see him driving off that back leg. That was a pretty pass. He needs to make a decision. Nice job on the line by the Dolphins. Gets the pass away. And it's completed. Not sure if he reached it. They'll measure. Yes, he got there. Edwards hands off to the left. The stop was made by Jeremiah Bell. 
The defense did a nice job there jamming the running back, bringing the outside linebacker on a blitz. Sometimes those outside backers, a little more athletic, it can really help stop the run. The tackle was made by Merlin. He'll get it again. Won't be stopped. The third down run ends up being a decent game. And we've seen so many rule changes over the years to help the passing game, but not many to help the running game. So that's a little old school football right there. When you get that kind of pressure, a lot of times the play will result in something worse than just an incompletion. Throws it. Patience for a wide receiver is just so key. He's able to manipulate that defense, set him up one play, come back with the exact same look and break off of it the next. Beautifully run. They'll give it off here. This is the 10th play of the drive. Gives to the back. Taylor was there on the tackle. Tom, that was a run blitz on that play. They brought the middle linebacker effectively, filling all the gaps, and there was simply nowhere for the running back to go. Throws it short. Edwards can't complete the play. It's fourth down. They'll line this one up. This one 23 yards away. He's got it. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. So after that kick, the score is now the Buffalo Bills, 13, the Dolphins, 16. Again, from the five. Gets to about the 27. They'll start at the 27-yard line. Here's the handoff. And he's brought down hard behind the line. Yeah, it really just throws you off rhythm to have a play that gains nothing. You know, you're usually you're going to get something, two, three, four yards, and it keeps you in that rhythm. But when a defense makes a play like that, it really throws your offense off. It is just so difficult for offensive lines to account for the safety. Typically, that's the one free runner that you have. And if you have a top flight safety back there that can come in and make those kinds of plays, it really helps your run defense. There for the reception. The stop was made by Dante Whitner. Anthony Fasano makes his third catch of the game. Just gets that one away. Good pressure that time, and they forced a bad throw. Not much he could have done with the pocket collapsing like that. Pass is complete. Anderson makes his third grab. From the 40-yard line. Gets the pass off. Throws into coverage, and it's intercepted. Well, that's the worst of both worlds for a quarterback. You're it's under pressure, and yet they're not really blitzing. They're sitting back in a zone defense. So as you're trying to escape and throw one out of there, there really is nowhere to go with it. Gets the pass away. Makes the grab near the sideline, but no signal yet. And it is a good catch. About as close as you can get right there. A shoelace, maybe just one cleat down. That's all it takes in this game. The pass is away. Allen had the coverage on the play. They line up at the 23. Incomplete. 
Anytime you give up that quick pressure like that, very seldom are those passes completed. Miami looks like they're sending everything but the kitchen sink at this point. This one's going to go out of bounds at the 46. The Dolphins will start this drive at the 46-yard line. Passes it. Again, has it go right through his hand. They can't complete the pass, and now the offense will be looking at second down. Gets the pass out. He's there for the catch. And Ginn takes his third grab. And that defense is getting a little excited down there. First down here and only five for the first following the penalty. Here's the throw. Hit as he caught it, and he's able to hang on. The Dolphins are putting together a good-looking drive here. That's their third first down. Pennington with the give. Williams tackles him at the 11. Brown comes away with two yards on the carry. Dumps it out left. Puzlesny was defending on the play. They line up on the 10. Tosses it out. Breaks a tackle. Well, that's just a big run stop right there. You have a very proud defensive line that was just going to take control of that situation. And it's good. Here's your sprint drive summary. So that will make the score the Miami Dolphins 19, the Bills 13. Sheds one tackler. They couldn't do anything against this defense on their last drive, and they were forced to punt. Throws it. He goes up high for the catch. He's down the sideline. To the 10. Touchdown, Bill. Trent Edwards has now thrown for 3,000 yards this season. And this kick will put them up by one. Ryan Lindell tacks on the extra point. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. on his feet the Dolphins were able to score on that last series but just a field goal and sometimes those are actually momentum shifters for the defense passes to his left the tackle was made by Mitchell Ronnie Brown with his third reception Passes the ball, makes the catch, cuts back, and he's dropped. And yeah, the defense came with pressure, but they couldn't quite get to the quarterback, and they paid a price. He got it down there, picked up a nice game. And the snap goes right to the back. Runs over Tackler. He's hammered in the backfield. And if you can make a running back hesitate just a little, that time you could see there really was no hole and the running back was just fishing for a place to go. Direct snap to the back. He's dropped for a loss. You know, for a running back, there comes a point in time where you say, all right, this play is not working. Let me just get as much as I can and try to get it back to the line of scrimmage. 
Gets the ball away. Can't hang on. Kirk thought he had a sure catch. That's just a big hit right there. No way the receiver could hold on to that one. Witherspoon is the deep man awaiting the return. Witherspoon takes it at the 21. The Bills punctuated that last series with a touchdown. I got to tell you, they look really good. They have this defense way back on their heels. He slides. A four-yard loss. That brings up second down. as he passed it. Jeremiah Bell was there on the tackle. And he went way up to snag that one. That was a pretty catch. He's running out of time. He goes deep this time. Almost picked. That incompletion will bring up second down. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Very effective call that time by the defensive coordinator, bringing the outside linebacker a terrific way to give your defense some help in stopping the run. Delivers to the halfback on the screen. Jason Allen is there to bring him down. So many times in the games today, you see a quarterback settle for those underneath throws, where in this situation, it really is a time to try and push the ball down the field a little bit. Those quarterbacks say they don't like to take chances on interceptions, and clearly there I thought he could have taken a little bit more of a risk. Throw short. Dante Whitner had the coverage on the play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20. They can't bring him down. Whitner hits him for a loss at the 17. The Dolphins are simply getting stuffed on nearly every rushing attempt. They need to get a spark somehow because this just does not bode well for them. Looks down the field. He's got a man open. Whitner knocks it down. Fourth down now after that incomplete pass. The offense wasn't able to get on track during that last series. Yeah, that series just never seemed to get off the ground. Nothing they tried there seemed to work. Witherspoon takes it at the 45. They had to put it away on their previous drive. He throws right. The stop was made by Channing Crowder. Roscoe Parrish with his fourth catch of the game. Throws just as the pressure gets there. Roscoe Parrish now has five catches. Short pass to his left. Roscoe Parrish has six catches now. From the 38-yard line. Edwards is looking to stay perfect on this drive. They were trying to work that ball down the field. There really wasn't anything there. They dump it off and not much underneath either. Well, the defense didn't get the sack, but they got the next best thing, and that was a bad throw. Short throw to the right. Too close to call. Here comes the chain gang. Man. Let's 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He's scared. Let's go. Nothing more than three yards right here. Yes, he got there. The Bills will take their second time out of the half from the 33-yard line. Lynch left side. This is the eighth play of this drive. They'll give it off here. Stiff arms, and he's brought down. Lynch gets about four yards on the play. Passes it out. Drops the easy hit. And it'll be fourth down following the pass deflection. Well, at the end of the game, you go back and you basically say what happened on third down, and you have a pretty good indication of how that game came out. Good play by the defense. Hits the upright, and it bounced the wrong way. The Dolphins will set up shop at the 36-yard line. He's laying it out there. McKelvin knocks it away. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down coming up. He gets popped as he throws. No completion that time, and they'll bring up third down. On a seasonal basis. From their own 36-yard line. Guests to enjoy access to private club facilities, indoor seating, enhanced food and beverage menu, and much more. For more information on premium season tickets, please see a Sees a man, goes deep, and the pass falls incomplete. That's what it is. We'll take you to the studio now for halftime. Welcome to the Halftime Show. Let's get you caught up on what's happening around the league. We'll take a look at the scores from other action. Here's a look at the top performers from around the league. D'Angelo Williams has rushed for over 150 yards. Here's a look at the first half stats. The total number of plays that each team has run is just about even. Lynch has rushed for over 75 yards. Buffalo leads it by one. Top plays from the first half, here you go. second half is about to begin. Enjoy the rest of the game. Welcome back to Miami. He'll return it from the one. Brought down at the 30. First down now and 10 to go. Ball on their own 30. Throws it out. It's there for the catch. Lee Evans brings in his 30th catch of the season. Ferguson comes away with a sack. 
What can they do to stop the bleeding here, Chris? They've brought him down four times now. I really don't know what you do as an offense at this point because if it's one guy struggling or one guy winning the battle, you can help one side or another. But when your entire offensive line is getting beat on a consistent basis, what do you do? Good job all the way around by the defense that time. Not only did they have the deep routes completely covered there, but they also had the check down well within their grasp. He's going for it all. Sees a man open. He gets in for six. Trent oh, Edwards yeah. throws his third TD pass of the contest. Brian Lindell makes it an eight-point game. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. Gathered at the six. Still going. They get him at the 34-yard line. The Dolphins will begin this drive at the 34. Here's the option. Williams was there to bring him down. Might want to start thinking of a different approach as this running game has been ineffective. He fights forward to about the 39 before several defenders bring him down. Here's the pass. Bird gets the pick. The tackle was made by Camarillo. That last interception, uh -huh, uh -huh. his second of the game. And that time he just got caught. He stared down the receiver. The defense saw him, jumped the throw, and made the pick. Good play on the defensive side. They go with the run. Wilson was there on the tackle. I know it may not be the popular thing to say, but I can't really give the running back 100% of the credit for this performance today. Let's face it, this defense came in here determined to stop the pass, and they're paying a price on the run. Passes. Comes down with it. What happened there, Chris? Well, they got caught in man-to-man -man coverage on that play, and I couldn't tell if the defender slipped a little bit or not. Maybe he just got beat on the play. Gets the pass away. Davis intercepts it. Open field ahead. Touchdown Miami. The Dolphins get pick number two of the game. They'll need to tie it up here, and that's exactly what they'll try to do. They'll give it off here. Could they have maybe tried to pass it there instead? After watching that run, I would say yes. Because <laughs> that sure didn't go anywhere. This one's going to be downed in the end zone for a touchback. The Bills turned the ball over on an interception their last time out. They might have mistimed the snap on that one. So the penalty will put them back in a first and 15 situation. Throws it. And he caught it. Harold Owens is able to make his fourth reception. Two yards away here on second down. Gets the pass off. Leaping catch. At the 40, at the 30, to the 20, to the 10. He's in for the score. Roscoe Perry's now has three receiving touchdowns. And this will put them up nine. 
Brian Lindell adds the extra point. Here's your sprint drive summary. Again, fields it at the one. He's tackled at the 30. They'll start this drive at the 30. Hands it off. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line before he's wrestled to the ground. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. He's starting to show some frustration after another short game. This defense has really made a tough going. That incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Chris, that was a pretty nice defensive stand. There's nothing more frustrating for an offense to come in and go three and out. That's just embarrassing. Witherspoon fields it at the 30. The Bills look very strong that last offensive possession. They capped it off with a touchdown. Those are exactly the types of drives coaches love to see unless you're on the defensive side. He's under a heavy rush, and he breaks into the open field. Jeremiah Bell was there to bring him down. The Bills have been unstoppable when they go to the pass. You'd think the defense would make some kind of adjustment at halftime, but so far that just doesn't seem to be the case. Dumps it out left, and the pass is incomplete. A missed chance to make a big play there. He seemed to get a little too excited and just made a really poor throw. Bring a little pressure, and it impacts quarterbacks, and we saw it there. Third down. He throws right. He's dropped right around the 46-yard line by Bodden. Hall with his third reception. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. And not a good bounce on the punt. The offense has to find a way to put some points on the board, and it has to start happening now. Go. Direct snap to the back. Drop behind the line. The Dolphins have to be frustrated with their lack of running success in this game. I mean, how many times can you get beat like that and still keep trying to hand the football off? Option. Stroud tackles him for a loss at the 17-yard line. The Dolphins continue to get beat off the ball. Their linemen look tired. They are physically outmatched. And it's beginning to take a toll on these runners. I'm not sure how many more times they want to carry the ball. There for the catch. The Bills did a good oh, job forcing a three this? and out. Anytime a defense can come up with three solid plays in a row like that, you know they are right on schedule. The defense could do no wrong the last time this team had the ball. Lynch on the give. A pickup of about seven, and that will bring up second down. They'll need about three yards here on second down. They're going to pitch it. Can't bring him down. Now he has room. Yeah, they did a really nice job sealing off the corner there and good vision that time by the back. A lot of patience, took his time, found the hole, picked up a nice game. Go, 
Gets the pass away. Brings it in. Roscoe Parrish has snared 10 passes. Edwards gives it up the middle. The well, one thing you know as a running back, as long as they keep moving the sticks, they're going to keep giving you the ball. Picked up the first down, did his job. He's still going. Not sure if he got in. He did not score. That brings up second and goal. They get to him. You know, we talk about timing on offense all the time, but when you play against this defensive coordinator, he is going to consistently throw your offense off balance because of all the blitzes he's going to throw at him. You have to anticipate blitz on every snap when you play against this guy. This will be a delayed call. They're saying no score on the play. Fourth down. And this should be an easy three. It's good. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. From the five yard line. Drop at the 34. Really need to step it up offensively now. Either somebody come up with a big play or at least sustain a drive to keep that defense on the field for a while. A touchdown on this series would be a huge boost. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 36 before he's hit and dropped. Second down, eight yards to go. Ball on their own 36. Again with the carry. He gets out to about the 38-yard line. A pickup of about three, and so it'll be third down. Nearly picked off. He should have had that one. Aaron Schobel was defending on the play. Fourth down. Witherspoon back deep to return. Oh, I need, That's all I need. Hit and dropped at the 23-yard line. The Bills offense may be slightly disappointed with how that last drive ended. They, you know, they held on to the ball for a while, but came away with only three on that one. Edwards will hand it off. Makes a cut, and he will be hit and dropped. And that's why you send all those guys to plug up the holes. And that time there were no holes, really. And he was lucky to get anything on the play. The pass is away. And it's completed. When you're trying to blitz the quarterback, you better have some talented corners on the outside. Because as a wide out, just give me three or four seconds against the blitz. And it is awfully tough to try and cover that. Passes it. And it's caught. Porter is there on the tackle. Trent Edwards has been finding receivers all game long. He now has 500 yards passing in the game. They hand it off again. Looked like someone got caught holding. Here's the official call. First and long now after the penalty. Gets the pass out. He makes another catch. Smith brings in his sixth catch of the game. It's second and five here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Uh -huh. 
They tackle him for a loss. And let's give credit to the defense. They had a great push there. They got in the backfield, took control of their own gaps. Here's the throw. Gabriel Wilson makes the tackle. Lee Evans makes it five catches for the game. It's the tailback. And so many times you hear offensive coordinators criticize because they don't try to run the football enough. But when you get stuffed in the backfield like that, you understand why they would rather call the pass play. Here's the give. They get a good seven yards on that play, and that makes it third down. zone looks like he had it but it's not loose and the timing of that hit was so perfect just as the ball got there he delivered the blow and knocked it out of there so the score now the bills 40 the miami dolphin 25 taken at the five still moving who takes it back to the 29-yard line. The Dolphins will start this drive at the 29-yard line. The stop was made by Buzz Lesney. The Dolphins haven't had too many runs that have netted decent yardage up until that one, but sometimes if you just stick with it in the second half, things start to break. He throws left. Kirk now with four catches in the game. Short pass. There for the reception. Kirk makes it five catches for the game. Throws it, catches it, and he's dropped. So frustrating for a defense when one guy keeps catching the football. You know you have to focus your attention on him, try and take him out of the pattern, but you simply can't do it. Feeds it to the back. Brown gets about a yard on the play. They hand it off. Brown loses the ball. They'll pile up for it. Long picks it up. The Dolphins were able to win the football. They keep possession. Huge effort to maintain possession of the ball. When you're mixing it up at the bottom of one of those piles of big bodies and clawing and scratching, it's tough. Delayed handoff. He lost yardage on the play. So many times it's up to that backside blocker to get his guy on the ground, and it sounds ugly, but typically those guys are chopping at their knees and trying to knock them off their feet so there's some cutback lanes. Passes the ball. And he's dropped as soon as he makes the catch. Lynch makes his third grab. Gets the ball away. Pass is complete. Gabriel Wilson is there on the tackle. Evans has been a very effective weapon in the passing game today. That last catch puts him above 100 yards. Gives it off. Still moving. They push him out of bounds, and now they have first and goal. First 
Buffalo trying to go up by three scores. They're going to pitch it. No official signal yet. This will not be a touchdown. He rolls right. He's there for the catch. Loss of a yard on the play. They did a great job of keeping containment there. There just wasn't anywhere to go on that. The Bills have the ball in the red zone as we begin the final quarter. They're looking to extend their advantage. They go with a run. Touchdown, Buffalo. Well, there certainly was no mystery to that play. Just power offense against power defense, and the offense won the battle there. It's good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. He's tackled at the 31. They'll take over at the 31. Williams makes the tackle. The offensive line just hasn't opened up many holes for him. He's really having a tough time out there. Passes it out. Makes the catch. Turner on the receiving end there, and that's catch number one in the game. He's been held in check so far. Throws it out. It falls incomplete. It's hard to believe that you can overthrow somebody that big. That guy is a huge target. You can't miss him. Here's the pass. He leaves. It's caught. Yeah, he scored a few style points with that one, but more importantly, they pick up the first down. Passes. He makes another reception on the drive. The Dolphins are having some success getting the ball down the field on this drive. This offense is clicking. Short throw to the right. Touchdown Miami. Chad Pennington really fooled the defense. That was Oscar worthy that time. He had the defense biting all over the run and uh, then just dumped it in over the top. It's there for the catch. Great job there. They were able to convert. And you could tell the offense had a plan throughout that drive. Not only did they get the touchdown, but they immediately got the call in for the two-point conversion. They knew exactly what they wanted to do and executed it perfectly. Here's your sprint drive summary. Brought down at the 31. The Bills will set up shop at the 31. Jackson gets the ball. The stop was made by Crowder. Nice call there by the defensive coordinator coming with the outside linebacker blitz, which really put some pressure on this group up front. Merling comes away with a sack. Philip Merling makes it to him for another takedown, his second of the game. He'll get it again. Tackle was made by Davis. Excellent job by the defense. The force, a three and out. Always thought the most important 
portion of any drive was that first first down. It gives you a little offensive momentum going, but anytime you go three and out, it is so tough on your defense. A lot of times, three and outs translates to points against your team and a tired defense. On the ground with a tailback. This is a game he'll want to forget about. He's faced a wall almost every time he's gotten the ball. Throws it short. That reception is good for seven. Good play design there. Very solid protection. Gave the quarterback time to examine the whole field until he finally found the open man. And he's hit as he throws. The stop was made by Leotis McKelvin. Demario makes his third grab. Dumps it out left. The tackle was made by Puzz Lesney. Kirk has seven catches in the game. Gets the pass away. Batted away. Lee Evans had the coverage on the play. There's no way we're going down. We got to make some plays. It's one play at a time, baby. Throws it. He thinks he hauled it in, but we'll see what the officials say. They say no, he didn't have it. I don't care who you're talking about. That was a tough catch for anybody in this league. And he makes it. Here's a look at the drive summary presented by Sprint. Bam! Still pushing. Brought down at the 29-yard line. They didn't look sharp on their last drive and were forced to put it away. Jackson takes it up the middle. Jackson picks up about four yards on the play. It's the tailback. Brought down around the 35-yard line by Wilson. Two-yard pickup. And they really ran right into the blitz. That's a time that a veteran quarterback should have changed the play at the line of scrimmage. You could see the blitz coming. He didn't audible and only came away with a short game. Comes down with it. Gabriel Wilson was there on the tackle. Yeah, when you see the blitz, you have to understand your own protections because if your protection is sliding away from the blitz, you have no choice but to get it out of there to the hot receiver. He'll get it again. Won't be stopped. Jackson gains around six yards on the run. Dumps it out right. Jeremiah Bell makes the tackle. Hall now has five catches. Here's the give. The stop was made by Anderson. Jackson gains about four yards on the play. Not much time to throw. He's sacked. Joey Porter makes it to him for another takedown, his second of the game. Jason Ferguson was there on the tackle. Looked like one of those old-fashioned rugby scrums there. A lot of big bodies piled together and nowhere for the running back to go. Hits the crossbar and bounces out. No good. Oh, those have to be the worst. You think you hit a good ball. It's between the uprights. 
you're ready to celebrate and that thing clangs off the crossbar and comes back at you. Oh, those hurt. Anthony Fasano was the intended receiver on the play. And if he can get just a little bit more time, there are guys running open down the field. The pressure is getting close, but it's not there. He should take a fraction longer to make that throw. Crushed as he threw. Tackle is made by Mitchell. Again, with seven catches now. Gets the pass off. He catches it and is tackled immediately. He's now over 100 yards receiving in the game. This is just one of those guys that can get separation. He always has a little space between him and the defender, making it easy on the quarterback. The stop was made by Mabin. Four yards on that play. That'll bring up second down. Short throw. And he caught it. The tackle was made by Puzz Lesnick. Here they go. First and goal down by a couple of possessions. He'll try the end zone. Chad Pennington now has 25 touchdown passes on the year. It looks like they'll go for two. Short throw to the left. And they really missed an opportunity there. You know, I like the call. I have no problem with that. But if you're going to try and throw the football down here, the better option is to really try and sell that play action and then get the pass off. They just didn't get it sold there. Breaks a tackle. He's tackled at the 28-yard line. Got to him just as he released it. And they can't complete the first down pass attempt. Second down coming up. Edwards hands it left. Philip Merling makes his fifth stop of the game on that play. And they'll run him again. He fights forward to about the 33. Langford is there to bring him down. Ginn is back deep to return. Ginn takes it at the 21. He makes it out to the 36. The Dolphins will begin this drive at the 36-yard line. Gets the pass away. Dante Whitner makes the tackle. And Ginn has now caught 30 passes on the season. Direct snap to the back. He'll be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. You know, you can draw up any sort of protection scheme and blocking scheme that you want, but ultimately this game comes down to one big man against another big man, and that time the defense is big men. They won the battle. He's there for the catch once again. That's number two on this offensive possession. You know, you hear all the time about quarterbacks getting into a rhythm, but sometimes a quarterback and a receiver can get into a rhythm where the quarterback begins to look to one guy a little bit more because he feels more comfortable, and I think that's beginning to happen now. They take the lead. I think we're going to see a big two-point conversion try here. Obviously, a three-point lead really significant at this point in the game. Go! 
There for the catch. He gets the two-point conversion. They get him at the 25. Their last drive ended with a three and out. He doesn't get back to the line. Jason Ferguson has been on a collision course with the ball carriers. That takedown marking his fifth tackle. Just gets that one away. Edwards is having a tremendous game. 600 yards passing is unheard of. Flips it out short. At the 40. To the 20. To the 10. Touchdown, and that puts them on top. Yeah, it's Edwards fine. tops the 3,500-yard mark on that last pass. That's a very solid season. It's good. Let's take a look at the sprint drive summary. With under five minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of play, the score, the Bills 54, the Dolphins 50. At the 30, at the 40, across midfield, down the sideline, to the 20. He almost broke that one all the way for six. You know, it always makes me laugh. We have these finely tuned, well-conditioned athletes. But how many times have you seen a guy break a big kick like that and sort of towards the end of the run, he starts looking like he's just run out of gas. A pickup of about seven. Little seven-yard throws like that have really become the staple of the National Football League. So many defenses now not allowing the big throws down the field. You have to be willing to take throws just like that. Mitchell drops him for a loss at the six-yard line. And it looked like this defensive line just beat him off the snap. Sometimes those guys can time out the quarterback's cadence. And if the quarterback doesn't start changing that snap count, his offensive line is going to really struggle. The Bills did an excellent job tackling and keeping things in front of them on that series to force the three and out. Breaks one and scores. But if you're going to make a living in this league as a running back, you're going to have to make somebody miss at some point. And that was a big somebody in the backfield that time, able to escape and stuck it in for the touchdown. With less than four minutes to go in the fourth, the score, the Dolphins 57, the Bills 54. They get him at the 23-yard line. They'll take over at the 23, first and 10. Edwards gives it up the middle. You would think they would be looking to conserve time right now. Yeah, somebody may want to go over and whisper in the head coach's ear that, uh, hey, psst, coach, we are still behind. Yeah. He passes short. This is close. They'll bring out the chains. The referee signals to the sideline. They're that close. Short yardage situation here. They'll need a little less than a yard to convert. They're going to pitch it. Evans is there on the tackle. That's a pretty play, isn't it? Anytime you get that pitch to the outside, the running back catches it in stride. He finds a nice hole, pick up the first down. Always like watching that play. Tackle was made by Channing Crowder. Passing in this situation, 
seems like it would have been a better idea. Passing in every situation seems to me like it would be a better idea, but when you have the clock working against you like this, it's time to put it up. They need to do a better job of managing the clock here. Yeah, I guess they're thinking we don't want to completely abandon the running game at this point, but at some point you have to start putting a few points on that scoreboard. Wilson is there on the tackle. Receivers who can make plays like that on third down tend to have nice, long careers. Let's go, fellas! They hand it off. Rhodes gets three yards on the play. This is the eighth play of this drive. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Jeremiah Bell makes the tackle. Jackson gets six yards on the carry. Passes to his left. The stop was made by Joey Porter. The Bills are getting on a bit of a roll here. Nice play calling and good execution. The defense looks a little confused right now. Throws it short. Knocked out of bounds at the 13 by Porter. Smith now with nine catches. The pass is away. Smith crosses the plane. Or maybe he didn't. They give him the score. The defense hasn't been able to slow this passing game down at all, and this one, that's his sixth touchdown pass. I tell you, the last thing you ever expect in the NFL is to have a laugh or kind of a day like this on offense. Defenses are so good. These coaches put in so many hours trying to figure out how to stop an offense, and today, this offense has just been too much. He'll return it from the one. They get him at the 28-yard line. You got to love it. Here we go. A touchdown will win it for the offense. A stop wins it for the defense. Here it is. Passes it. Kurt was his intended target. Second and seven coming up. Ball on their own 28. Gets the pass out. Brings it in. Did he get there? We'll have a measurement. The signal is a first down. Here's the throw. He catches another. Dante Whitner is there on the tackle. And when you're trying to catch those high, hard ones, you just don't know what's going to happen to your body. I tell you, you haven't lived until you caught one of those and had one of those clowns flip you upside down. Makes the short throw. Kozlesny tackles him at the 40. Ronnie Brown now with four catches in the game. Turner was the intended receiver. Passes on the move. The stop was made by Whitner. Chad Pennington has been finding receivers all game long. He now has 500 yards passing in the game. Throws it deep. 
Mitchell gets his hand on it. Dante Whitner was defending on the play. They'll have one more chance for the end zone. Throws just as the pressure gets there. Tipped ball, intercepted. Tackle was made by Kirk. That's going to wrap up the action. Highlights are straight ahead. <laughs> 